Faker now looking for the collapse. Scout coming down as well. Kali Alti up and available. Owner fishing for the kick. And advantage. Viper now stepping forward. JJ oh. now going in, looking to lock down Gumiyushi, but the flash stops it. Alti comes out as well, but not really connecting on anybody from Mako. Mako now being pulled back. Ignite now taking Faker, looking to finish up some kills. Faker looking to find Mako, getting pushed back. Scout keeping him alive. The objective, can they take it? That's one for the side of T1. But the stacks are there. Oh, Faker now, oh. Faker. Everything on him. Guma still standing true with the flash forward. The absolute confidence. He gets one. Can he get two? Faker now standing forward. They can't finish Guma. It's massive for the side of T1. The dragon still standing. Scout now walking away. TP now coming in. Fjord just returning to the top lane. It is a mess on the bottom side. Scout out, still in the area, but T1 will finally, finally take the cloud drain. And we see T1 playing for those outplays, playing that game of inches, exactly what you said, Kajrel. Faker going in so aggressively, able to put the pressure there, and Guma's flash to follow up is beautiful. He just says, I'm gonna flash old Guma here, so Guma spell shields. And then Owner, what does Owner do here? He looks for the kick flash onto Mako, oh. but he gets pulled away as he flashes forward, so... Both engages are a bit scuffed, but from this point onwards, we see the skill expression from the mobility of T1. EDG trying their best to try to play as a team, play as a death one, look for front to backs, but T1 just don't give it to them. Yeah, I mean, again, Faker with that E just able to get right in the middle of them. So many of EDG's defensive tools are already used trying to find the aggressive play, and it gives that window for Guma to go in, find the kill, and the fact that Carrier on the Yumi is such an annoyance, you know you aren't going to be able to finish off those low health bars.